All right, folks, what is it that I look for in video games? Uh, I think there's a lot of debate over like whether or not a game should be linear or whether it should be open world. I don't think the issue is how linear a game is. I think the issue is a game taking control away from you as a player. It's giving you this character to play, but then it constantly pulls you back out of the head of that character. Uh, linear games can be great. You know, Half-Life 2, that's a hell of a game. It's a hell of a game, but it's very linear. So why is it so good? Well, it's so good because it's extremely immersive. The atmosphere is believable. You feel like you're in that world and on that journey. You literally are Gordon Freeman. You never, your character never speaks or acts outside of your control. The cutscenes aren't even really cutscenes. You can still move around with them. The characters move their heads and talk to you as you walk around. That is a game that makes you... That, that is a role-playing game. Like, you feel like you are that character, right? Whereas, you take a game like Arkham Knight. Uh, production values are insanely high. Yeah, they've put a lot of work into it, but you don't feel like Batman. You've got a kind of open world, which is pretty bloody empty and boring because everyone's evacuated Gotham, right? But you don't feel like Batman because your decisions are kind of made for you. You're encouraged into these little things and you're constantly zooming out of Batman and now you're the cameraman. You feel more like the cameraman than Batman in this game. Uh, Monster Hunter World. A lot of cutscenes, but your character never speaks really or acts outside of your control. Not really. This is a game that empowers you. Um, I wouldn't say it's amazing, Monster Hunter World, but it's good. You know, Doom. Again, your character never speaks or acts. Uh, it is a very linear game, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, this game. It's not even obnoxious. It's extremely aggressive and violent, but it's not obnoxious, you see. It's not telling you what to feel and how to think and how to be. You just see your hands come up every now and then, right? The Last of Us. This is an extremely well-made game, but it's trying too hard to be a movie, in my opinion. Um, games need to stop trying to be movies, right? How many buttons am I holding here? This is like 15 buttons here. That's 15 buttons. Every time there's a cutscene, every time I have to watch my character instead of play my character, I've got, what is that, 15-ish, 14 buttons sitting dormant in my hands. I'm not holding a box of popcorn, I'm holding a controller. I wanna play the game, I don't wanna watch it. If I want story, if I want characters, character arcs and turning points and plot points, I don't give a shit about that when I'm playing a game. I'm holding this, not a box of popcorn. So The Last of Us, uh, I wasn't a big fan. You know, it's, it's an interactive movie and the combat is very, jeez. <laughs> Hide, but it's very Gears of War. Hide behind a barricade. Hide behind a barricade. Take cover. Hide behind a barricade. Uh, I don't know. That should have been a movie. The Witcher 3. Now that's different. That's a weird one. That doesn't really know if it wants to be open world or it wants to be preaching to me my character. Because like, it's kind of Mass Effect on the one hand in that you choose what to say and when, and then Geralt kind of rephrases your statement. And that's interesting. I think, uh, for me, this game, it's graphically incredible. It is absolutely stunning, this game. It is so beautiful. But the combat sucks. The combat's just clunky as all hell. And I never really feel totally immersed in this game, to be honest with you. The music pisses me off. It's always putting me to sleep. I turn the music off when I play this game because it sucks. It's like it's try constantly trying to lull me to bed. Um, I could take or leave The Witcher 3. Rayman Legends, completely different thing. Here's another example of a linear game that is a hell of a lot of fun. So is Crash Bandicoot, so is Sonic, right? Doesn't matter if a game is linear, it can still be a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, Rayman, you kind of feel like Rayman in a way. He never really talks or does anything outside of your control. The game puts you in the front seat. It gives you the steering wheel. You have fun like that the whole way through. That is a, that is a, that's an awesome game, Rayman Legends. That is so much fun. And the best thing is 
You can be five years old. You can be 50 years old. That is, that's going to knock your socks off. Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I didn't like it. The, way, the best way I could describe Horizon is it's like an overbearing mother who can't decide whether she wants to hold your hand tightly or set you free. You know, it's like here you've got an amazing theme park all to yourself as a child for a day, but your mummy's got to hold your hand tightly through every second of it. What? Why? Why? So that that's ter no, that that's terrible. It defeats the point. You know, Aloy is constantly being her own character, which is weird in an open world game. Um, now this is where things get interesting because. You can actually compare Horizon to Red Dead Redemption, which is a game that I personally love the tits off. You can really compare this to Red Dead Redemption because you've got the same things. You've got a big open world where you can do... Hmm, you can do a lot of things at your own discretion and at your own pace, right? Your character in both games, John Marston and Aloy, they both speak for themselves a lot. You're, you know, You look at them through the perspective of a camera man a lot and yet i don't like this game um i think for me john marston is a character who he's very subdued you he's a character whose mind you can really enter and you can become one with him this game is like a storybook it, it plays like a movie you know at red dead redemption it it actually doesn't play like a movie. It's actually a. It has a lot of cutscenes in it. That's for sure. But like GTA. But it's extremely immersive. Red Dead. My God, is that an immersive game? Uh, you see, I, I'm talking about Red Dead when I'm holding Horizon. You know, that it's it's just such a better game. You you are transported to the Wild West, and you f you are John Marston. Forget about it. You are John Marston. You're not playing John Marston. You're not playing a character. You fucking are the character. That's how immersive and engrossing and empowering that game is. I can't say the same things for Horizon when I should be able to, because it it's it's telling me on the back of the box, um, explore a beautiful, lush, open world, right? Face overwhelming odds with every step, right? Uncover ancient mysteries. It's like Tomb Raider. You've got this big open world, but we're going to tell you what the character thinks and feels and, you know, we're going to drive the car. You're not going to drive the car. It's like, what? It's an open world. I should be driving the fucking car. Anyway, I've driven that point home. Uh, Bloodborne, completely different game. Again, this is another example of a game which I love. Uh, I love it because it's extremely challenging. It's extremely immersive, this game. My God, it's immersive in the darkest possible way. This is a dark game, I tell you what. This is, this is extremely immersive. It's not an open world. It's very linear. It's, it plays very much like Uncharted, really, and Dark Souls just without a shield. And in that sense, it's actually more, more challenging than Dark Souls, in my opinion. Uh, that is a hell of a game. It's linear, but the challenges are immense. The enemies will kick your ass and you have to learn their tactics, their movements. It's a bit like Simon says in that way. You know, every enemy has the same like, oh, he's lifting his arm up over his right shoulder. That means I have to dodge this way. <laughs> it's very Simon says, but it's extremely challenging and it's very rewarding to get through, to get through the bosses and the enemies in this game. You feel like you're becoming that guy that's what you feel like that guy there is what you feel like in that exact pose in that exact come at me motherfucker kind of pose this is a good game your character he never speaks or she the character never speaks acts does anything outside of your control it's you the player and the world and the enemies and that's it even the story is kind of taking a back seat if you want to know the law behind this fuck man you got to do some digging on the internet that's how atmospheric this game is brilliant and lastly uh, assassin's creed black flag i think assassin's creed is a very homogenous uh, uh, franchise it's so homogenous it's the same damn thing every time just with different colors basically Black Flag, on the other hand, Ubisoft really took risks here. They decided to break out of the box, to break the mold a bit. And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, it's not Assassin's Creed. It's too different. It's too different. 
Yes, it is different, and that's why it's so damn good. Yeah, it's got all the Assassin's Creed mechanics in there, but you this is basically Pirates of the Caribbean. That little that guy there, what's his name? Ah uh, shit, Edward Kenway, right? You feel like Edward Kenway. You feel like a badass pirate. You feel like Johnny Depp playing oh, too many names. I just got out of gym. What's his name? Jack Sparrow. You feel like Jack Sparrow playing this game because it's an open world, huge open world. Fuck me, that's a big world. It's literally an ocean. I don't know how many goddamn islands I must have explored on this in this game on my pirate ship, which, by the way, you can upgrade, you can customize, you can tweak at your own pace in any direction you want to go. Uh, you pillage, you plunder, you send ships out on, on um, trade runs to make money, to make doubloons. This is a fucking good game. It, the only problem with this game is it is so open and it is so diverse in what it lets you do. It takes a long time to get into this thing. You do not pick Black Flag up and play it. You got it. It's kind of like Red Dead Redemption. You got to play through through the first ugh, the first six, seven, eight hours before you get some idea of what the game is about. That's the only problem with this. But that is my favorite Assassin's Creed, next to number two. Um, yeah, I I I love that Syndicate was okay, but again, it's very samey. It's very homogenized. Why do you want to spend 90 Australian dollars on an, a game that you've pretty much played already a hundred times? You know, people are like, oh, you know, Black Flag, it deviates too much from Assassin's Creed. Oh, Far Cry Primal, which is another good game. There's no guns in Far Cry Primal. Well, yeah, it takes place in, what, the caveman days. And that's why it's awesome. That's why I loved Far Cry Primal. It was different. It was gritty. It was textural. It was earthy you felt like you were actually genuinely back in this period, you know, crouching after a bloody cougar or something, trying to take him down or tame him to ride him and make him your pet with a bloody slingshot or a bow and arrow. Oh, man, Far Cry Primal. That is, you see, there is a team at Ubisoft somewhere. Ubisoft there. There is a team there. There was a, there's a person somewhere who wants to break out of the box, who wants to break the mold. And that's so important. That is so important. You know, God of War came out just recently, like a few days ago. It's a game I've played a hundred times. Like, oh, Nick, you know, you, you, you can hack and slash at witches. Really? I can do that in any fucking game. Oh, Nick, you, you can upgrade your weapons. You can... Oh, really? Yeah. It is... It's a cookie cutter game. I'm sorry to say it, but if you remove the story from God of War, you remove the cutscenes, the characters... It's a cookie cutter game. It's the same experiences I've had in a lot of video games. Why do you want to pay so much money for something you've experienced a hundred times? I don't understand it. Black Flag, you know, even Bloodborne to some extent. Um, yeah, The Witcher 3 to some extent as well. That's a very ambitious game. The Last of Us even. You know, that's the one thing I can say about The Last of Us. It's a game that takes chances. It's like... Well, I know it's going to be an interactive movie, but shit, you know, we've got an amazing story to tell. We've got amazing characters. That's the one thing I can give this a thumbs up for is it's fucking ambitious. Um, you know, Monster Hunter World as well. Those are ambitious games, not God of War, not Horizon. You know, that's what I want. For, that's what I want in a game is a new, exciting experience, this experience that pushes the boundaries of video gaming that challenges people to think differently. Far Cry Primal was a great example of that. Uh, Black Flag is a great example of that. You know, even The Division to some extent. I mean, The Division was very samey, but it was an effort from Ubisoft to make a new kind of game, I think. It didn't do very well, but still, it was. that's the effort I want to see being made. So I want a game that gives me the wheel, that makes me feel like the character I'm playing. I want a game that sucks me out of my couch, out of my world, says, here's a horse or here's a car. Here's an amazing open world in which, this is why Skyrim was so good, by the way. You can be and do and experience really whatever the hell you want. You can build whatever the hell you want. Fallout 4, amazing for that. You know, that is a, these are games that reward you not just for playing them, they reward you for playing them the way you want to play them. It's like in Skyrim, you go through a cave 
You can go through a cave and dispatch the enemies however the hell you want. You can use destruction magic, you can use illusion magic, you can use bow and arrow, you can use daggers, you can use single-handed swords, double-handed swords, you can use uh, battle axe. What am I missing there? There's something else I'm missing. And the game looks at that and it says, huh, you know what, mate? You just defeated everybody in that cave with cloak and dagger tactics, like double daggers, a lot of sneaking. So I'll tell you what, here's a whole bunch of skill points you can spend in sneaking. It's like, how many games do that? Not many games do that. Uh, most of these games that I've got here, they don't reward you for playing it the way you want to play it. Origins certainly didn't. Assassin's Creed, and I, I, I forgot about Origins completely. I'm not a big fan of it, really. It takes a back step from Black Flag in terms of ingenuity, right? That's not a rewarding... It, it's, Origins is not fun. It's, it's not rewarding to play. What's rewarding to play? Black Flag is amazingly rewarding to play. The amount of goddamn loot you can uncover, the amount of fucking customizations you can make to your pirate ship, that's rewarding. Last of Us... Ah, not really. Bloodborne. Ah, fuck! Immensely rewarding to play. Horizon. Eh, not really. Rayman Legends. That's rewarding to play because, fuck me, that gets hard. Uh, Witcher 3. Is that rewarding? Yeah, maybe. Over a very long, arduous period of time. Uh, Doom. Yeah, kind of. Monster Hunter World. That is a rewarding game. Son of a bitch, is that rewarding. And then Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. No, not really. So a game has to be rewarding. It has to give you a sense of progress and achievement. It has to immerse you. It has to give you the control of the character you're supposed to be playing. You need to feel like the character you're playing. That's the most important thing, right? That's why Legend of Zelda was so... I'm talking for ages here. That's why Legend of Zelda is so good. Ocarina of Time. That is a Nintendo 64 game that gives you an open world and the role of the character you're playing. Link never talks or speaks or really acts outside of your control. Maybe a little couple of steps here and there in a cutscene. That's it. That is an immersive, empowering, and thus rewarding and fun game to play. And that's what I look for.